Mo3 Mo3 was supposed to be doing a song with her. She came with another rapper from DFW. And it was me, Mo3, and uh, another dude that was in the studio. And she, she went to the front. And another rapper came in by five guns. They had them all sticking out their pants. You know what I'm saying? And so they know me and him and three I always had, I, I already had some words. So she didn't let us know that she was gonna go open the door for these niggas. So they walked in and three looked at them. She said, Say, bro, look, come on, let me holler at you. And they went back to the we went back there to the back. Him and the Pacific person, all the other niggas stayed in there. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk get the, the certain interviews that you do and over there at Mogul Media you said something. You said that Cuban doll set up. Oh, she tried to. I'm trying to understand how you went from that. When you told me on here that it was, uh, I think you told no, me. No, it had nothing to do with that. It didn't have nothing to do with that. that. This was way before. This was way before that. Yeah, this was way before that. Okay. Yeah, 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 so yeah. basically, one time she tried to set him up. Yeah, Mo3 was, Mo3 was supposed to be doing a song with her. She came with another rapper from DFW. And it was me, Mo3, and uh, another dude that was in the studio. And she, she went to the front. And another rapper came in by five guns. They had them all sticking out their pants. You know what I'm saying? And so they know me and him and three I always had, I, I already had some words. So she didn't let us know that she was gonna go open the door for these niggas. So they walked in and three looked at them. She said, Say, bro, look, come on, let me holler at you. And they went back to the we went back there to the back. Him and the Pacific person, all the other niggas stayed in there. And they talked about it. And after they talked about it, it came out that somebody else was missing. Wow. So you And they feel- came and they came back and did a song. But she she could have got somebody killed that day. Wow. So you telling me that she knew that that was issues? Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Everybody, that, that's why nobody else came around us ever said it wasn't true. So how how different did y'all move after 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 that happened? Uh, and I was pushing him to go do a song with him. You know? I was pushing him to do a song with him, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all move different after that, though? Did y'all Or did y'all just still keep stepping the way y'all was stepping? Yeah, we stepping because I was, I was around a solid individual. So, you know, in, in, at any moment, you know how it can go or which way it can go. So, you know, uh, uh, we knew next we knew not to just let anybody come over there and do no verses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was just right around the time of everybody and your friend. Wow. Mm-hmm. That was right before everybody. Right before friend. that? Yeah, yeah, right before everybody your friend. Let me, you know, when you look at South by Southwest, I ain't gonna lie, you can tell me if I'm wrong. You can tell me if I'm wrong. What? But it seemed like every year, South by Southwest comes, since I've been dealing with this for a few years now, they get excited, they go down there and perform, and you don't get another performance for a whole year. Yeah, South by Southwest. Is Listen, it. you don't get another whole year. They come on the platform, they say, we hot, we gonna do it this year, but I have to wait all the way to South by Southwest to get another performance. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying you, but I'm telling now, you this is what it seemed like to me. It's some bullshit. <laughs> well, explain. Uh, uh, South by Southwest, you just paying your money to sign up and perform for uh, around uh, in front of other artists. And a lot, a lot of those other artists is local. Local, yeah. You just, you just, you just you, we go cram a bunch of local motherfuckers in one room and y'all perform in front of each other. You, you got a better chance of going to the penitentiary and, and getting on. So how do you think it would be more beneficial? What do you think it would be? It's watered what? down. Niggas ain't gotten by. Back in the day, it was a perfect place. How can they bring it back? It's, it, well, once it watered down, watered down, I got to move to another city. You got to move to like to Tennessee. Uh, uh, what you call it? What's the music uh, capital? Uh, not Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, Nashville. Nashville. I gotta go to where where executives not scared to walk through the streets no more, because back in the day you'll see big executives. You'll they see, just had a shooting out there. That's what I'm saying. So we're in Nashville. In so I'm talking about I'm talking about when you, we got a big music conference. Then you know mm. they'll bring they'll bring the people in charge to, to help their book. Uh, it's watered down. Uh, I'm still the king of uh, the strip club. Paid me this strip club paid me ten thousand dollars. I mean nine thousand dollars to perform. I mean, to uh, host a strip club. That's more than any rapper in Dallas can book for right now. So what I did, I took 9000 and I gave 2000 just for a nigga to show up to the hottest nigga in Dallas. Wow. And that was Big X. Yeah. I, t- I told him, nigga, you ain't got to perform. That's the most humblest nigga in the game right Very now. Very humble. He been on here. I yeah. like him. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the most humble nigga in the game. He, he stays solid. Uh, 
he he stand he stand on what he say how he say you know what I'm saying so I can't get mad about that I got nothing bad about to say about him you know even people not my orders I have some bad say about him I ain't got nothing bad to say about him uh, you know uh, I give him his credit where it's due what do you think he could be doing better because everybody have room to pr improve tell his story yeah gotta tell his story gotta you don't think he has not really we ain't, we don't uh, listen to his album we don't know we don't know we don't know his story yet once he tell his story on the whole level. Mm. Every rapper, you know their store. That's real. You know what I'm saying? You know what well, apartments UGK was hustling out of. You know Boosie Mama. You know Yo Gotti. Where he, where he, where, you know everybody's store that lasts long. Everybody who lasts long in the in the rap game tell their store. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.